Um, let's call you Q ball because you know, Quetzal ball. I know that's really dumb, but that's what we're going to call it. And if you don't like it, tough. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy, Gaming Inn. In this episode, we're going to start off by uh, taking a look at what's going on with our breeding, and we're going to make ourselves a harpoon gun and a harpoon net thingamadoodle uh, to help aid us in trapping. So, in here, I have uh, two Denonicus eggs. Why do I have Denonicus eggs in there? I don't know. No, those are thorough it. There are Xenomags. I don't know why that said Denonicus. All right, let's hatch these. And we'll imprint you and imprint you. All right, I want to look and see what the stats are on this. Uh, stats, this is pretty low health. Uh, low melee damage. Yeah, not good. Uh, this one is high higher health but still not as good as my best dinos um yeah and both of these guys unfortunately are males and they also have me trapped here really <laughs> um okay so this is great can't uh, get out of here can I crouch? Nope, can't crouch, can't go prone, can't jump. Well, that's just nice. All right, I got to log out. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I don't have, I don't believe I have admin rights on this server to run commands like toggle collision. I might actually, but it's just faster for me to log out and back in at this point without trying to figure that out. Okay, so anyways, um, these guys are, they're both males. Um... The best health dinos that I have right now were 9,274 health out of the out of the box, out of the egg. Um, and the best melee damage were is 436. So this one fails on both of those, and this one uh, fails on both of those. And the fact that they're both males means they're not useful to us for making eggs. So unfortunately. We're going to have to say, send these guys to the great dino heaven in the sky. Sorry to do this, guys, but you got to do it. Otherwise, you'll have just too many dinos around. Say goodnight, Gracie. I know, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm a cruel human being, but that's the way it goes. Um, are you going to die? There you go. Okay. All right, so let's harvest these guys up. For some reason, harvesting them is a real pain in the ass. Okay, so um, this this baby Thera is also doesn't have very good stats, but it's it's a female, so it can create eggs for us. So I'm, I'm letting that one live. So out here are our two uh, breeders so far. So father two and mother two, and these are the ones uh, I have since leveled up uh, their health and a little bit of their damage. But their default stats, both of them had. Uh, nine nine thousand two hundred seventy four health out of the uh, out of the egg and four hundred thirty six damage. So they continue to be our main bre uh, breeders. Uh, th these are our original mother and fathers over there. Uh, this one came out with higher weight than everybody else. Um, so I'm gonna actually keep him for harvesting. So we're pumping his weight. Um, I'll probably almost exclusively going to pump his weight, maybe a little bit of damage too. And he has 130% movement speed on top of that. So we're keeping him as a harvester. This one, um, I'm just going to hang on to for now as a soldier. I got his health up to 20,000. I don't think I'll take it any higher than that. And I'm just pumping melee damage. So we'll probably use this guy in uh, our first fight, uh, first boss fight, when, when, whenever and however that happens. Okay, so that pretty much covers breeding. Um, I have been also breeding the Denonicuses, but only for their eggs to make uh, the bet, the top end kibble, whatever the hell it's called. What is it called? Oh, I didn't have it on me. 
um, the, the, the highest one you can make. And that's why I have all those Denonicuses too. Okay, so um, let's go back over here. And we're going to uh, learn the harpoon gun. Or harpoon launcher. And we're going to learn the... I can't see what's going on here. Uh, we're going to learn the net projectile. Okay. So, I don't think we have a blueprint for a harpoon gun, but let's look. If we did, then I just wasted some points. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't remember ever seeing it. Do we make that in here or do we make it? Yes. Uh, yes, we do make it here. Okay, so let's pull enough resources to make one of those. And the idea is that if we find a a UD or or a Rex or, you know, or any big animal that we want to tame, we'll net it and then we'll quickly build the cage around it. Um, one of you guys actually suggested that I make this in the comments, and, and I was in fact planning on doing that even before before I saw the comment. So yeah, cool. All right, so let's see for the net. Do we have to make the net in here too? No, it doesn't look like it. I guess we make that in our own inventory. Yes, we do. Okay. So let's make one of these. I want to see how heavy it is. And I'm assuming this is not a reusable item. Okay, so it's two pounds. So why don't we make five of these in total? And uh, that'll be ten pounds. And we'll we'll start with that. Okay. Yeah, I gotta check with Joe and see if I have admin rights, because if I do, then I I know you gotta run some command to enable it first. And then um, but I don't remember what that is off the top of my head, so Okay, so it looks like the weapon will actually hold five. So if that's the case, let's make one more, and then we'll have a total of six. Yeah, because it says one out of five there. Okay. All right, cool. So we got that done. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to keep looking for... A high-level Uteranus and a high-level male Rex. We have a female, a, a perfect tame female Rex sitting in the cryo fridge here, uh, right here. But we have yet to find a perfect tame male Rex. Or even, I'll even take probably a 140 at this point uh, for the male Rex. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, show myself looking around for those things on camera again. We kind of did that in the last episode so i'm just going to fly around and i will bring you guys back with an update on where we are or if we actually find um the critter we'll do that too except for i just almost forgot my kibble let's go back and get the kibble and you have oh no you have the kibble yeah the extraordinary kibble that was that was one i was, was thinking of so a max level unity on our server will take five extraordinary kibble to tame, but since I can only make three, I'm bringing some mutton along as well. Um, and it says for a ute that it will take 11 mutton, but again, because I'm, I got three kibble to feed it, um, it won't take 11. It'll take like a third or whatever of that. So that should be plenty. You know what, though? Actually, let's do just a little bit more. I know we don't need to, but I'm going to do it anyways, just because I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. And I'm going to put this other stuff back in here, too, by the way. Uh, let's just drop one of these honeys, because they're going to spoil anyways. So, yeah, we'll bring ten more mutton. 
just uh, to make sure that we have enough of what we need. All right, so let's put this on here. Um, and yeah, I'll just keep the stews on me. Okay, I think we're ready to, to head out. So, um, uh, like I said, I will bring you guys back when either A, I find a Uteranus or a Rex to tame, or B, with just kind of an update on where we are. Oh my gosh, I just found the first Quetzal I have ever seen on this map. It's a level 45. Um... <clears throat> I wonder if I can net that from from the air. Yeah, we should be able to. Uh, of course, we don't want to do it while it's out over the water. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, let me just let me land for a second. see anything crazy around um let me see what do we need to do for a quetz okay so this is a level 45 quetzal according to dodo decks we use exceptional kib uh, only four exceptional kibbles and we have five of those on us um <clears throat> with my rifle we should be able to knock it out with either 10 darts or four if we get a headshot and And a net projectile will uh, will take it down. Okay, so I don't like the fact that it's right out over the ocean, though. That is not safe. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is just kind of follow it for a while. Um, there's our Rex. Level 90. Let's kill this Rex. Yeah, we're just going to have to follow it for a while and kind of see what happens. I like the black and kind of purple colors of it. I think, you know, knocking it out actually going to be a piece of cake if it wasn't over the damn water that is um we just basically we pop it a few times if we can do headshots you know four darts will bring it down then we net it and then just quickly build the cage around it but obviously i can't do that when it's flying over the water like this so I'm just going to kind of hang out, guys, and wait for a bit and see what it does. Again, I know this isn't a very high-level quest, but it is is—it is honestly the very first one I've seen since I've been on Fjorder. So because they're that rare, um, we're going to get we're gonna nab it. Uh, assuming it doesn't stay over the water for the next three hours. <laughs> so I'll bring you guys back with an update here in just a little bit. Okay, so it keeps wanting to fly out over the ocean uh, it is starting to, to go this direction though over the right now it's kind of turning that way uh, I think when the opportunity presents itself I'm going to try and just net it from the air it'd be nice if it would uh, go right out kind of over the beach but it's wanting to go back that direction but I think okay let's let's try it right here okay well that wasn't ideal was it okay let's see if we can get four shots in the head I don't want to wait the five seconds because um, 
I don't, this net's not going to last forever. Okay, that was four shots in the head. There's five shots. Slow down just a second. Six shots. Okay, so so much for four shots to the head, unless it's not counting the underneath part as the head. All right. I think that means it's down, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? This isn't the worst place that we could have done this. Um, we only have to worry about anything bad coming from that side. Um, all right. Let's make a one of these. And... You know, this is just a level 40. We could feed it mutton, I'll bet you, and be just fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it only takes seven pieces of mutton. We won't lose any levels. Not that it matters that much, because this isn't a perfect tame anyways. So let's just save our kibble, and we'll give it some mutton. Okay, so let's consume this. Why can't I drink that? Uh, it's not giving me the option to consume it. Do I have to start the tame first? Is that what the deal is? Now do I drink it? Yep, I guess you have to start the tame first. Okay, uh... Wait. Why isn't this not working? I, I mean, I don't really need to do it, I guess. I just don't understand why it's not working, though. But we're fine, though. Okay, cool. So, uh, I was totally not expecting... ...to get a Quetzal. But we got one, so that's just amazing. Let's just keep any nasties away from it. It's a low-level one, but hey, you know, whatever works, right? It's We can use it for, you know, picking up uh, larger animals and that kind of thing. Man, this harpoon net is... <laughs> it's really made taming so much easier. The old way to get to tame these guys... Well, what I used to do is I would try and find a low-level Quetzal. Then I would use the grappling hook, tell my RG to fly after it, quickly shoot the RG so I could dangle from it, and then, you know, bring down the Quetz. And then once, once you got the low-level Quetz down, then what you'd do is you'd build a big cage on the back of it and then use it to trap a higher-level Quetz. Um, let's call you Q-Ball, because, you know, Quetzal Ball, I know that's really dumb, but that's what we're going to call it, and if you don't like it, tough titty. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, so, let's take Q-Ball. I really do like the colors, though, man, I have to say. Let's take Q-Ball back home, and then we're going to continue our search for, um, for Uteranus and or Rex. And, again, we didn't actually use any of our kibble, which is great. So we still have that for everything else. Oh my goodness, there's another quest right above our base. What the? <laughs> it's a level 60. Uh, male. And q -ball's a female. All right, well, this is just unbelievable. I've gone this whole entire time without seeing a single Quetz, and then I see two, and one of them's right next to the base. Okay, um, excuse me. Get out of the way. Again, I'm not going to wait the requisite five seconds. We're just going to go because... 
I know the nets don't last. I mean, I don't know how long they last. They don't last real long, though. So this is good, too, because now with the male and the female, we can get the eggs. That one didn't connect. And they'll have a mate, mate boost, too, you know, if we take them out together. That's just funny, man. What I don't even know what episode this is where we're, we're on. It's... We're well into this playthrough. Don't see a single Quetzal. And then all of a sudden I see two in the same episode. And one by the base. Oh shit. He's already out. I probably lost some levels doing that. Um, alright, so... <laughs> let's, uh... Let's get on you. Oh, you know what? We just take the tree down. Oh yeah, like that worked. Damn it. Okay, cue ball. Get, just go land somewhere. Hmm. Okay, how do we do this? Let's see if I can get the bat. Oh, I know how we can do this. I'll grapple up to him. Or not. Damn it. Okay, can I hover like right next to him and access his inventory? Okay, vampire, stay there. There we go. Okay. Um Vampire's got the stuff. Give me that. Taming effectiveness 60%. Yeah, that sucks. It's because I I hit it after it had knocked out. I wasn't paying attention. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. If it was like a, high, a max level, I'd be like totally kicking myself right now, but... Since it wasn't, it's not the worst thing in the world. It just sucks. But it is what it is. Okay. Well, anyway. We got ourselves two Quetzals, you guys. It's just funny. Now, what happened to the other one? Did it take off? Oh, no. Cue ball's right there. Okay. Let me get Vampire to come back down here. That actually worked out pretty well for her to just stay hovering there so I could use the grappling hook. This one's got some pretty neat colors too, actually. So yeah, that kind of that's kind of too well. No, this one will still be 76 over 67. But yeah, I mean, it still sucks that we lost the levels. But there we go. Okay. So what are we, <laughs> we going to name this one? Um, Q2. How's that? I know, that's pretty lame, but that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> okay, guys. Guys and gals, follow me. Okay, you stay there. They're following Vampira. And then we gotta make Quetz Saddle. Let's, I don't know if I have any blueprints for Quetz Saddles or not. Let's see. Oh, well, do we even have Quetz Saddles, period? Q. Look at that. We already have one. Fantastic. Okay. Do we have a blueprint for what? Uh, no, that's an Equus. Okay. Well, um... I'm not big enough yet to make the platform saddle, but let's... Oh! How is it that I already know this? That I have to learn it as a prerequisite for something? I don't know. 
But I apparently know it already. That's weird. Hmm, okay. Pull resources for one. I don't remember learning that, but apparently I did at some point. Or, like I said, it was a prerequisite for something else I had to learn. Neat. Alright, we got our Quetzals. That's always a... Kind of one of those milestone... Milestones in this game, getting your first quets. But, you know, I haven't played in two and a half years, so... With that harpoon thing especially, I wonder if they're not quite as... Um, essential as they used to be. Or maybe they still are, I don't know. Okay, so, um, I think we'll start by giving them both health. And let's all, s well, hold on, let me look at something here. Yeah, the, qu the Quetz egg is used for exceptional kibble along with the, oops, whoops. The Therizina egg, Therizino egg, and I've got tons of Therizino eggs now, so we don't really need these guys to, for making eggs. We could breed them and see if we can eventually get a better Quetz, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments, you guys. Are, do, you, do you still find the Quetzal as useful as it was, you know, two and a half years ago, or is it not quite as useful as it used to be? Uh, let me know what you think. I'd be curious to hear. Okay, so uh, you have a Denonicus egg and another Therizino egg. Okay, um, let's grab both of those and go throw them in the incubator. Well, we'll throw the Therizino egg in the incubator. The Denonicus, I'm going to make another exceptional or uh, extraordinary, rather, kibble. So we'll throw you in there. And, uh, by the way, mythic or not mythical, um, Joe, we already have two Quetzal eggs. Look at that. How funny. Really? How the hell did that happen so quick? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Joe did adjust the egg, <coughs> excuse me, the egg lane. So I, we now have, um, a decent amount of eggs being produced. Yeah. It, and it was definitely off. It was, uh, it was set. He had a higher higher multiplier set for it, thinking that it made it faster when in fact it actually made it slower, so that's what the deal was with that. I don't know why the hell I wasn't able to to use that, but whatever. Okay. Alright, so let's put this Denonicus egg in here. And let's make another extraordinary kibble. Turn this on. Uh, wait, what? Some resources were not pulled. Are you... Is the honey going... Oh, the honey's like going bad as soon as I pull it in here. Seriously? <laughs> what the hell? Is that what's happening? Here, let's grab one of these because it still has a little life on it. I think that's what was happening. I don't know. Okay. There we go. That was weird. Oh, you know what? Oh, I was going to say, I thought I maybe threw some honey in there, but maybe not. Okay. All right, let's put the rest of these eggs in here. We'll make more kibble later. Oh, I'm out of room in here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's get rid of this and we'll dump some of that meat. You know what? We're probably going to have to go get some more mutton now 
Yeah, I think we are going to need to do that. Uh, here's the two Quetzal eggs. That's funny, man, that they laid eggs that quickly. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Okay, I'm not complaining. It's just surprising me is all. Um, what's in your inventory? Okay, we'll put this. Uh, so that gives us four. If if this stuff would actually work, I don't know why it's not working, but if it actually worked, then we probably could tame a max level UD with just four. Let me grab some of this other crap out of here and put it away real quick. Okay, so we replenished our harpoons. Uh, we're going to go get ourselves a little bit more mutton. And then we're going to take off again. I did, on the way back here, I did actually spot um, two, or not two, a uh, uh, 135 male UD. But 135 is just, just a tiny bit too low for, for me. So, I don't know. All right, who's our... Lowest level male sheep. Well, male, female, whatever, doesn't matter. You're an 83. You're a 76. Yeah, I think this 76 is our lowest customer here. Um, all right, so behavior, follow distance, lowest. Okay, follow me. Come on. Come on out. It's time for you to go to heaven. Okay. Let's do the dastardly deed. Say goodnight, Gracie. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Yeah, it's set to kill. Uh, Houston? Why is the sheep not dying? There we go. <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay. Look at that. 238 raw mutton. It's a beautiful thing. Um, we got some of that stuff, too. Okay. Give me all of that. We want to put most of this in here. You got more eggs? What do you got now? Another fertilized therizino egg. Okay, let's put that in the incubator. I'll deal with it later. You guys are like really going to town, aren't you? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do we have any more Nanakas eggs? Another Quetzal egg? Dang, man. All right, you know what? I'm just leaving those there. We got to get going. It's getting late. It's getting late. Okay, so um, let's go kill that 135 UD because uh, we need to kill the, all the low level, level ones so new ones will spawn. And I saw it just right up on this ridge up here. Get that taken care of first, and then we'll keep looking for more. Okay. There it is. It's a 135 male. Yeah, man. If it was a 140, I'd take it, but... Yeah, let's just uh, deal with it. It's probably going to scare us. I was trying to kind of counter its circling, but obviously that didn't work out so well. Got him. We're going to get rid of that and this because we don't need the weight. Uh, let's put the mutton in here too because it's going bad. Should have done that first. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to keep flying around looking for... Beauties and Rexes, and um, I'm not exactly sure where we are for time in this episode because uh, it's been I've I've been recording it in multiple segments here. So um, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do then is uh, is wrap up the episode here. 
and when I find either a max or very high level Rex or you know meaning 140 or higher we'll say uh, or Uteranus I will either record myself you know taming it or we'll even start the next episode at that point we'll just kind of see how things go so with that being said thank you everybody for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video um, I am I thought I heard another you to yell um, I am very soon planning on going to and checking out the other realms uh, and we might even possibly do that in the next episode uh, we'll just see how things go uh, but if we don't get to it, the next episode we will get to it real soon all right guys take care bye bye